Asdell, the captain of this team, proving her worth on that shot. The power too much for the Sycamores to handle. Coach Dunbar is looking for accuracy over power. Just inside the line, didn't need to go 100% on that shot. Bierman goes up. And in these last two points, you've seen really the overall progression of Bierman's game. Defensively, especially, willing to get up on the block and go for some digs. She had a career high uh, in digs this morning against DePaul. Already had a few today. Yeah, and seven. The Sycamores are certainly keeping it tight right here at the end, Josh. Yeah, it's something they've done before earlier today against Ball State. Third set back and forth. Nearly made a comeback. But these service errors yeah, are Laura Gross. costly. That's the that one will go into the back of the net, and the Hoosiers capture set number one. An anticlimactic ending to a very exciting first set here in Bloomington. The sixth service error of the set does the Sycamores in. Alexis Parker goes at it again and redeems herself. Got to hand it to her. Nope, not shaken one bit after the error. 115% uh, on that shot. What a swing through the five hole. Nikki White blocked by Lofton. There's that blocking power the Hoosiers are capable of. Lofton, smile on her face. So congratulations over with Leash. The two have been the main reason the Hoosiers have broken away late in this second set. And Deja Lofton splits the defense and gets the kill. Perfect symmetry on that kill. Right down the middle of both Sycamores. Wilting away as Indiana. Set point. And Malloy again. That one bounces off the hands of Rachel Griffin. And you gotta love that about these freshmen for Indiana. They make a mistake, they come right back, they get the kill. This time it's Cameron Malloy. And Indiana's now up 18 to nine. 